Hey guys, and in this video I'm going to be doing one of my facial routines. This is a facial routine that I do probably about twice or once a week depending on how I'm feeling. Firstly, I use a cloth and I soak it in hot water and then I apply it to my face just so that it opens all the pores so when I'm cleaning it I can make sure that all, all the pores are open and all the dirt is being removed. And then I use a tea tree witch hazel face mask. So I probably keep this on for about five minutes and it kind of just detoxifies the skin. So I leave that on for a few minutes and then when I'm done with that, I go on to use this sugar scrub. So it's Tropic Body Smooth Refreshing Polish. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there. So this is really good with my skin. When I put it on, it makes it so moisturized and smooth, especially if you have dry skin. However, Everyone's skin type is different, so people may react in different ways. But for me personally, this is really good for my skin. I sometimes have oily skin, sometimes have dry skin, or it's a balance. It just depends on the weather, and either way, this is always really good for me. Oh, and I also have this little spoon that comes with it, so I can just like scoop it out. Yeah, it's really helpful. And then next I have this clean and clear facial wash by Neutrogena. Yeah, so I apply that after the scrub just to make sure that everything has been what's the word? Cleansed away? I don't know. Yeah, basically just removing all the dirt that the scrub had removed and then wash that off right away. And then after that, I use this Rose Soothing Toner by Garnier. I really like this, and as you can tell, it's almost finished. But yeah, um, it's for dry and sensitive skin, and the rose water just smells nice. So, and it's just good for me. That's why I use it. So, here we go. Also, in my video, you may hear a bit of creaking on the floor that it's literally just my toilet or bathroom uh floorboards it's really creaky and it feels like an aeroplane in here and it also looks like an aeroplane but this is uni accommodation for you guys <laughs> The reason I do this probably twice or once a week is because I don't want to exfoliate my face too much just because with the sugar scrub it can damage the top layer of your skin making it even worse or making you break out depending on the skin type that you have which is why I only do this once or twice a week. So now I'm going to wash it all off and I'm just going to use the same cloth just to wipe it off. I don't know if you can see it, but after the sugar scrub, my face feels so much smoother, especially on my forehead and around here. And it just leaves my skin looking 
glowy and radiant for like the next few days until I use it again. So I really like the Tropic body polish. I mean, you can use it for your body as well. Um, I don't think it applies to only the body. You can also use it in your face because I do anyway. Either way, it's good. Yeah, so I just use one pump of that, about that much. It's probably a little bit much, but never mind. And I just rub it in to my hands like this. I just apply it. So it seems my phone fell down. So yeah, and one of the face facial things hit my foot. Anyway, um, gotta clean this off now. So next I use um, the Garnier Rose Soothing Toner on my face. Just put a few drops onto the pad like so. Then I just kind of gently rub it against my skin. This is also a great makeup remover as it really gets all those little makeup particles that you think are gone but are actually still there. So yeah, I would recommend that as well. Okay, so that's my facial routine done. Now I'm going to show you how I finish it all off. So before I moisturise, I use uh, this, the ordinary solution to my face. It's the 5% lactic acid and hydrochloric acid. For me, I usually get quite a lot of spots. For me, usually I get a lot of spots and the dark um, scars just remain. So this actually really helped for them to fade away. If you can see it there. Yep. Yeah, so this really helps fade dark scars away after spots, if you are prone to them. But again, it just depends on your skin type. It may work for some, it may not. So I just squeeze a little bit into the pipette and I just apply about two to my forehead, a few on my cheeks, my chin and on my nose. And then I just gently rub it in. Okay, so that's done. And I just wait a few seconds for it to set in before I moisturize. And for my moisturizer, I use Dove Nourishing Body Care. This really helps to keep my skin moisturized throughout the entire day, which is why I quite like it. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit, about that much, onto my face, and it has a great scent as well. Just gonna gently rub it in. For me, I like to focus on my forehead because most of the times my forehead is the place that becomes the most dry. Whereas with my cheeks, it kind of just moisturises itself. Well, my forehead is not the same. <laughs> yeah, so that is my facial routine done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will... Oh, I've got a little stray hair at the top. 
I will link the products I use in the description below if you're interested. Also, my hair is doing wonders. I don't know, it's not looking too good. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.